Hi. It's my third recording in a row. I hope this doesn't come back to bite me. It's Miss, uh, Miss Chini Chan. And I'm gonna be, uh, gonna say I was gonna be uh, I'm gonna be a a coward and just shoot him from there be a wuss no I'm not actually scared of the wolves they just uh... too lazy <laughs> really there's a med pack in here so yeah welcome to uh, my favorite level in um, Peru the Lost Valley with the disappointing T-Rex, but you'll you'll see what I mean. Other than that, though, this level is really good. I, I I like how it was made and stuff. Like, to be honest, I feel like people have been giving this game um, a lot of crap, and I, I personally I think Crystal Dynamics did quite a good job. Like like I said, I prefer the storylines of Core Design, but they did a really good job with graphics and gameplay in the re in the remake. So yeah, I think this game deserves more credit than it's getting. I mean, hey, it is a remake, and everyone likes remakes, you know. Yeah, I mean, this was made in either released in either 2006 or 7. I don't remember. I, I was like 11 or 13 years old when this came out. So yeah, it was a long time ago. But hey, I think Tomb Raider 1 from 1996 was uh, due for a remake right about now. And <laughs> I, I know it's annoying. Maybe, maybe I really should try to cut it out. Yeah, um, that game came out when I was like two, and I personally I think it was due for a remake, as cool as it was. And I will be playing that version soon. And I was originally gonna do like a comparison let's play, like I switch in between the two, but that's actually been already been done by someone else, and eh. A, I don't want to copy. B, uh, I'm too lazy to like edit all this stuff and upload two ga let's play two games at once. Cause, truth be told, I cannot be bothered to do that. What do we got? Two artifacts, one relic, and uh, yeah, I know where they are. Okay. Why did I do that, you might ask? Well... Um... There's something, uh... Pretty neat over there. But there's something... Okay! Can I just... Laura, what are you doing? Alright. There's a goodie in here that I really want. To get it early on in the game, even though you're... Cannon wise, you're not supposed to get it right now, but screw cannon. I want a shotgun! Oh, I'm not gonna use it until Greece! How do I switch weapons? Okay. Scroll mouse. Used to it being end. Wait a minute. Hang on. Is there by any chance a way I could get back up without backtracking? Because there's also something else I gotta do here, and I don't really want to backtrack, and... I gotta backtrack. Or I gotta come back here the long way. So, see the spot. After we enjoy these rapids. Whoa! Woohoo! Cannonball! Alright. So, uh, what we want to do is save my game first. Because if I screw this up, I don't want to... Oops. Ooh! Oh, that was close. <laughs> right. I don't want to screw this up. And if I do, I can just reload the save. So. Yeah, there's a reason I'm coming up here. There's a lever up here, which leads to something. It just, it leads to something. You'll see what I mean at the uh, end of the level. Because that's the only time I can access is the end of the level. So, yeah. That's fun. 
Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? No, I can't do it! Cannonball! With a scream. So what we got is two cogwheels, and we use the lever to open something we can't access till the end of the freaking level. You no! 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 Okay. Don't do this. Don't do this. No, 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 no! Ooh, get better at this. Okay. <laughs> right, yes, I know how to climb a ladder. Let's put the first cogwheel in here. Um, you can get away with only putting in one cogwheel and it's still advancing, but it takes too long. Why not just get two of the cogwheels? Oh, jeez. Okay, grab the thing. No, do it anyway. You just did. Go to the ladder over here. Yeah, your commentary is stupid. No one wants to hear it, you know? I know, probably, but I don't care. I'm here to play games, not to argue with you, Lara. <sighs> Truth be told, I don't know what personality I'm gonna make Lara's voice yet. As Alice Locks Trent, I started with Lazy Lara, then I did Rebel Lara, because I got bored of that, and and I'm thinking of doing, like, mean Lara. Like, just kind of... Just kind of, you know, like... She hates everything and everyone, or whatever. Kind of a rebel, but more of just hates the world. Is more solitary. I don't know. I'll make my decision later in the game. But for now, I'm just going to come up with, like, random comments of her insulting me or something. Sorry, what was that? No, I, you're you're talking as if I, you're voice acting or something, which you're not. Oh, was that so? Stop mocking me. No. <laughs> right. That's just in case you, you like want to go back there and get the cog, but have no use for it. Let's go this way. Thanks, camera. I wanted to see Lara's ass. Thanks, camera. Random fog. Here, and there should be a bear in here. Yeah, there you go. If my voice is too quiet, and the... And, um... The game's too loud and I'm done recording, I'll make sure to edit the sound. I hope you guys can hear me okay, though. I'm actually talking loud, just to be sure. There's an artifact around here. Can I even get it from here? Yeah, I can. 50 caliber ammo. Awesome. Which were the magnums in the original game, which made absolutely no sense. Why? Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Just go back and get the artifact. There you are. Jump down safely. Oh, now we gotta do a lot of platforming. There you go. There you go. Ugh. Getting sleepy already. I don't want to go to bed. I want to fix my screwed up sleep schedule. Random, random, uh... I don't know what those are. Random music. That's not what I'm supposed to do. Is this what you do? Yep. Well, maybe. I don't know if that was right, but it worked. So, <laughs> just live with that. Yeah, sorry, I'm kind of a one of those um, speedrunner players. I like to get through the level. <laughs> Unless I'm like playing a game for the first time, then I usually just take my time. But I've played this game like hundreds of times, so... I quite know what to expect, so... I just tend to speed through it. And I've play been playing Tomb Raider ever since I was just a child, so... Yeah, I pretty much know the ropes. I know I... I think I I either started uh, playing Tomb Raider when I was either bats. I was either bats. Yeah, I keep doing that. Um, when I was either four or s four, four or five or six, I started playing the uh, the Tomb Raider games, the first Tomb Raider game. Needless to say, I was too scared to go past the first bit of the level. <laughs> I was afraid of the bats, and I had to have my father do it. In fact, 
fact, I never actually played past that part. I always wanted my father to play through it. Because I was too scared. There are raptors. Which should be uh, quite insulting to the paleontologists of the world. Just uh, saying. Discovery Channel won't be happy with this. I need a large pet pack now. Okay. There are pickups here, but I'm not going to do it right now because it's just a big old fight scene. That was a fail. Well done, me. There should be another board coming. Yep. Love the music. Come on, you're able to do this quite well before we can do it again. Whoa! I didn't want to go that way! Fudge! And here's the disappointing part with the T-Rex. I was thoroughly disappointed compared to the fir first game. It's the only part about Tomb Raider I didn't like. No, in Tomb Raider 1 you get like this element where it just kind of pops out of nowhere and it's kind of got like the sphere thing going on. So we get replaced by an interactive cutscene and the T-Rex is actually like, what? Well, no, he's bigger, but I think they overdid it, to be honest. It doesn't even look scary like it did in the first game. So yeah, I was thoroughly disappointed. Um, thank you. Thoroughly disappointed in this game when it came to the T-Rex. Am I in the right position? Yep. Nope. What you want to do is, um, oh, that was smart. You want to get them into the. You want. You want to make them ram into the spikes behind us. Uh, don't. No. Come on, come on, come on. And you can tell where the <laughs> large stands there. And you can tell where the spike pit, spike traps are because of the uh, little sand dunes right here. You gotta get his rage meter all the way up. I like how Lara just stands there and just doesn't react. Come on. Come on. Last spike pick. Spike pick. Spike pit. And you're dead. Well, not exactly. <laughs> Good animation right there. He's not quite dead yet. This is just disappointing. Oh! There you go, first death of the game because I failed because I pressed the button too early. <laughs> well done, me. I think it was down though. There you go, yeah. Can't press the buttons too early in this game. You can press it wherever you want in Tomb Raider Legend. You can't in this game, because if you do, you die. Yeah, it's the death of the T-Rex. <sighs> sigh. That's all I gotta say about this boss fight. Just sigh. <laughs> they pretty cool music, though. Right. Actually, I, I don't think any of the bosses are impressive are as impressive in this game as they were in the original. And I think after Lost Valley, I'm finally going to cut this. Stop recording. Because I want to rest after this. And I'm running out of breath. So yeah, if I start feeling faint, that'll be fun. That's all I need right now is another spell. Hope it doesn't though, especially during a let's play. It'd be very embarrassing. Have to cut the video short or something. Oh no! Because I really hate it when I have a spell. Not just because it's embarrassing, it's because it makes me feel like absolute crap, and I have to lie down. Actually, I'm 
I'm already getting the chills, so it's not really a good sign. Usually what makes it go away is like a sip of uh, Powerade or something, or some salt, maybe a little sugar or whatever. I don't know, eating or drinking, except for water, brings it back up. Er, it prevents me from my uh, near my pre-syncope spell getting any worse. I've never actually fainted, but I've been close several times, so I hope I never actually go full-fledged and, um, this means, you know, I didn't, okay. Yeah, my, my voice is starting to go out. I, I think I used too much breath at once. Mm. It's like I gotta be quiet for a little bit. I really don't want to cut this episode short, so. Yeah, try to endure. Maybe it'll go away on its own this time. Okay. Let's uh, go over here. I've actually got a little bit of a fear of fainting. Like, kind of some sort of phobia. I think it's called asthenophobia or whatever. Feeling of... Scared of being weak and I already screwed up. Or fainting or whatever. But luckily, it's a little more under control than it used to be. Anyway, I'm not going to get into subject of phobias. Other than I have a fear of slugs. I hate slugs. I hate everything about them. And I got hurt. Great. It's an impact. Oh my gosh, Lara. <sighs> mm. Oh, by the way, Tina Von Rotter, if you're watching this, hi! It's been a while. I'm 123themist slash Alice Lux Trent, so you should remember me. She actually mentioned me as 123themist in one of her Let's Play Tomb Raider 2 videos, I believe. Yeah. Kind of gave me a shout out, which was very nice of her. Albeit, I probably shouldn't have hounded her about it. That was. And again, I was a teenager. I had low immaturity, but that's not an excuse, so I'm going to shut up right now. So. Did I still. Hang on. To lose hush. <laughs> right. Yeah, I know this is exciting. Yep, yeah, large med pack. I knew it. I like getting all the pickups. The more goodies I have, the better chance I have of surviving. <sighs> Sorry, I had to take a deep breath. There's another med pack there. He can barely see it. I don't know why Laura brought out her guns. Mm. Mm hmm. That sounded wrong. Okay, let's go this way. Up you go. Okay. Be like that. And of course, I'm playing the PC version. I'll probably be doing. Uh, I'll probably be like an exclusive PC player, but. We'll see. If I can figure out how to record my console, I will definitely give that a shot because I really want to do a Let's Play on this game called Primal. And I really love the game's story, so I really want to play it, but I don't know how to record stuff on my PS2, so that's fun. <sighs> oh, birds. Okay, now we're not done yet. Whatever. Lara tends to, like, aim herself at the slope, so you gotta be careful here. But there's an artifact. If you try to jump past it, there you go. And my Xbox just turned off, because now I have a blue TV screen right now, and I, I should have turned it off earlier. <laughs> oh well. Alright. Turn off my TV. Things drive me nuts. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if I would, I would definitely record stuff like on my PlayStation or Xbox or something like that. Though I don't see the point in my Xbox because I've got the PC version of all my Xbox games so I don't... The only real, real use I have for my Xbox right now is YouTube and uh, Netflix. See, that's what I meant by she automatically aims at the slope. But yeah, we got all the artifacts and we just got one relic left to go. So let's do it. Uh, menthol. Menthol throat. Great. Menthol throat. That's a bad sign. Yeah. Okay. She only seems to do that in this area for some reason, so I'm not going to dive. Just run. I really want to dive, though. 
Yep, just showing off my special acrobatic skills there. <sighs> Shh, leave me alone. Um, do I go back? Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm surprised I haven't died from a fall or from like a platforming fail or something. Died from an interactive cutscene fail, so I guess that counts. Usually I die of a platforming fail by now. Hmm. I mean, I'm not complaining. Don't take this as a complaint, because it's not. How did I miss these? Oh, wait. I can't pick them up. I must have uh, reached my max. Great. There's someone outside my door. Probably my mom, so I should be quiet for just a second. Good. Give me a chance to catch my breath. you, camera. Like, I wanted to see that. Please stop lagging. Ah! Alright, you're going in water. Why are you screaming? <laughs> Guess there are no wolves this time. Cool. It's loose, hush. I'm trying to let's play. out there and I'm catching my breath here. Try to endure till the end though, but after this episode I'm definitely gonna cut it off. Go ahead and edit these and put them on YouTube. My ear hurts. Use it. Ooh, the lever. Ironically enough, I think we're in the same, uh, uh, same general area or general location as the Emperor's New Groove Incan territory. Anyway, yeah, we're not done yet. My ear hurts! Hmm, I took my headphones off so bad. Yep, gotta climb all the way back up and backtrack. Sort of. We're not going all the way back to the bridge, don't worry. We can actually uh, swim in the water now because of the little dam thing right here. And I'm saying dam as in D-A-M, not the other one. <laughs> so yeah, we can swim in this now. Remember that uh, thing we opened? Here we go. Yeah, it's a good thing I talk, else I would never remember. Yep, there's a relic here. found the Karo Mug, an ancient drinking vessel primarily used for liquids like fermented chicha, which is again ink and beer, <laughs> a common sight in Andean feasts. The Karo was also frequently employed as a ceremonial vase by the Incas in important religious ceremonies. Okay. Okay. Yep, definitely time to stop the recording and uh, do some more later. Climb up, please. Yes, I know how to dive, because I've been doing it. <laughs> <laughs> she just went, hee hee! Without my voice cracking. <laughs> it's in the level. Huh. 
I'll see you guys later.